Hey guys, it's Ellen here and welcome to my channel. I thought we'd do something different. We do a little sunset today. Uh, just have some watercolor practice, moving paint around little by little. Um, I go over this step by step using a few brushes. You know, this is really something a beginner can do easily. I know it may seem like you can't, but you can. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. And check out my Patreon. I have uh, ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials every Thursday that are not on YouTube, only on Patreon that come with traceables or reference photos that I give, that I've taken or I can find for you guys. And um, I also do live stream once a month on the top tier and a download for me. So it's just a place you can go and uh, support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You can just check it out up here in a second. So um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get painting some sunset. Okay guys, so for, let's go over supplies uh, for this watercolor practice. I have like an eight by 10 uh, inch piece of arch, 100% cotton cold pressed paper I taped down. I just use a uh, Scotch magic tape, that's what I prefer. Um, my paint, I go over them as I use them and I have in the description box I'll be using a couple of brushes I'll be using just to wash in the water first. Just this flat inch, uh, one inch flat wash brush. I've got my Princeton 12, Neptune, my eight and my four long round velvet touch series brush, paper towels, water jars are up here. So really, we're just gonna practice making some sunsets. Like, well, I'm just gonna do one sunset, but this is what you can do. And you can play around with color and, you know, and, and, uh, with the sunset itself and the background and the foreground. So I'm basically just gonna grab my one inch brush and I'm gonna wet the whole entire piece of paper. Just like so. I wouldn't get it sopping wet, but I'd get it wet. <laughs> see here, I'm just getting, just filling it in, get it all wet. You can see the sheen of the paper. Get a good amount of water on here. I'm gonna have a little bit more water here. Alrighty. So I'm gonna take my number 12 brush. I'm gonna make some color. I have this brilliant orange, which I like. I'm gonna water it down a little bit. I might add a touch of magenta to it, but I like this orange. And I'm just gonna kinda go put some of this orange color all the way up, a little more deeper in the center. A little less so going down here. See that? I'll add one more orange. Let's water down. Just a little bit down here. You can see the orange. Now I'm going to grab my Prussian blue, which is up here. I'm gonna actually grab some ultramarine. I'm gonna put a little magenta in there, get a little purple. Like a deeper blue. And I'm gonna start to go across the top. Just like so. And on the bottom. Add that. I'm gonna mix up some more paint. So I had the Prussian blue, ultramarine blue. I'm gonna add a little black to that, or a little magenta. Just want a deeper blue. Magenta makes a little more purple. So I'm going across the bottom here, as you can see, and then a little on the sides. Just like so. See across the bottom and then a little bit on the sides, leaving that middle center line. And then up in here, I'm just gonna push this around a little bit. I'm gonna add some more magenta to my color. A little more purple. A little more purple kind of blue. So I'm putting in some clouds. 
So I'm just making a line kind of diagonal like this and kind of pushing the paint around. I'm cleaning up my brush and push that paint around a little bit. See that? And then over here on the side too, coming down. So it's like an angle coming down both sides. And then some little clouds. Woohoo! Come in here. The little ones here. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take a paper towel, just a piece of it, like this big, all around. I'm going to make my sun where I want the sun to go. And it's going to be right here. So I'm just lifting up. Actually, I don't think that was centered. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to add a little more orange. So you want to do your sun kind of in the middle. <laughs> Mine was off to the side. Okay. I'm going to add a little more orange paint. Then we're grabbing some more orange. Getting really in there, going across. Some deeper color orange. If you want to add a little magenta to that, you could. A little pink. Mine's a little messy here. Get a little pink in there. Okay, and then some more orange. It's pretty intense. I'm going to go back in with that paper towel and make that dot for the sun in the middle where I wanted it to do it the first time. So here, so we have our sun. Here comes the sun. I don't sing well, but you see? Now we're gonna work around that sun. Gonna add a little more orange up in here. And then some blue is missing here. I'm gonna add some blue. Go back in over those diagonal lines. Adding a little more deeper tone. So you're just taking the tip of the brush and doing this. This is watercolor practice. This is not like perfection here, guys. Going back on top here and adding a few more. Could add a little bit of the orange up in here. And then I'm going to add some more of this blue. See, so we're making our little clouds. All right, I'm going to get a little more intense color around here. So a little thicker with the paint, a little orange, add a little pink, a little more red, red orange. I'm going to tap it. I tap it on my paper towel just to get off the excess. I'm going to go around the sun and add this deeper color. It's right in here, a little bit over the top. See that? Using the tip. Just going and add that. So we're getting there, guys, right? This is just a simple sunset. I'm not going to go too crazy. Sorry, my thing's moving around. Um, we have a little bit of orange here. We're going to add a little bit more because it kind of dry really light. Add a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to get a little bit deeper on the blue on the bottom again. I'm adding those colors with a little magenta, some little more purple blue. Let's see, get a little bit darker. We're building the layers here. 
little bit darker. Still leaving the center kind of empty. See, we're already creating our pretty sunset. Water it down just a little bit and go over here a little bit. Okay, gonna take that same blue and make a swipe right across here. And here, it's like a purple blue. See, we're getting there guys. Gonna add a little more thicker, more paint. Less water, same blue. I feel like the sunset is getting there. <laughs> and again, add it down here a little bit. We're building, building, building. Right? Can add some more deeper clouds up in here. Just taking the tip, kind of wiggling it and kind of going down an angle like I showed you before. Get those intents. Again, see I'm just kind of like going on an angle, wiggling it, just like that. And then put a few, just a little streak in here. Sunset. Right? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna remove some of this paint. It's kind of bleeding fun. Now we're gonna add, we'll just add a little bit darker color. One more swipe of this. Ooh, that's a little too dark. I wanna keep it bright and light, so. It's that purple, the Prussian blue, magenta. Don't want to make it too dark. Gonna add another deeper cloud. Just gives it a little more, what do you call it, intensity than those dark colors. Just add a couple little teeny ones. Just using the tip. Little stragglers. Like that. The sky. And what you do on that side, you might want to do on this side. Don't forget that it looks so intense, but it will dry lighter. Put another one up in here and put some more color. Intensify up in here. I'm going to water this down and put another one just in here. Remember, it's kind of going down on a diagonal. Then we have our cool sky. Adding another swap. Dark color there. And that sky is working for me. If you want to add a little bit, you could add a little bit of bright yellow. My yellow is going to be green because I have blue on my brush. I'm just going to take a teeny bit of this yellow. Go up in here a little bit. You don't have to do that. And if you want to get a little more red, a little more bright orange, grabbing that orange. That's looking a little too brown. I'm going to clean that up a bit. Want it more intense, pretty. There we go. So I don't want to fuss with it too much. Also, while this is still wet, I take your paper towel again. And we're going to do reflections. Remove the paint. See that? Going down. 
It's a little wiggle too. Just like that. Worst case scenario is that you missed it and then you can just take some gouache and fix that. Now see, I have a little problem going here with my cauliflower. What I mean by cauliflower, the edge dried dark like that. So I'm going to take some water and just kind of push it around. It happens. It doesn't go away. We're going to just be painting over it anyway with some green. So that's that. Now we're going to start mixing up some greens. So I have remove the pretty oranges. I have my yellow here. Get some peacock blue. Get this bright green. I'm going to put it up here and I'll add a little brown to that, which is the umber. We'll look at olive green. All right. I'm going to start to paint some of this greenery. Just making a line going across. I'm going to kind of move in some of this color here. It's more like a coastal sunset. So you do another one here. And fill it in up over here. Like a Carolina coastal. You want to keep your paint fairly thick because it's going to bleed a little bit. I'm going to go back over in here. See how I got a little bit darker with the green and the purple. I'm just going to wiggle just like that. So there's like waterways, you know, like if you're in Carolina. And then I'll put some down here. This part I'll add a little more blue. Get a little bit darker green. So just grab some, um, what do you call it? Ultramarine blue. So grab some blue and then mix it in that green. And I'm just going to go back here right over that area. And back in here. And leave that just like that. So it's like shining on the waterway. So mixing up some more of that green with the melted marine blue and some yellow. It's pretty thick. I'm going to add some more water to it. Get this deeper green and the yellow and some water. And then over here, I'm just going to make a little teeny island. Add a little more yellow to this. I'm going to add some more green, dark green here. See? It's a little waterway. <laughs> I'm going to keep this part a little bit lighter. I'll add a little bit dark green here. Just a touch of my brush this way. So this kind of bled like a cauliflower, but it works great for like the land. And I'll just go in and add a little brown, ultimate blue, take the tip of the brush and just go like this. Go a little bit darker there. And up in here. Go like this, the same color. And kind of cross over where the um, reflection is. Gonna add a little bit yellow to the screen. 
So it's kind of like an olive green. And go back here and crisscross over that. Now it kind of went fuzzy here, which is kind of perfect. We can make like the, the background trees, you know, little just dark green trees um, in the background, like it was like an island somewhere. So grab my Prussian blue, yellow, brown. I can put some of that background trees. Got a little more brown. And I'm just kind of pushing my brush around, dotting it, going like this across. So like those trees are in the distance. You can also make them like a little bit deep purple. So I have that purple color. So ultramarine blue, magenta, right? I have a little bit of this green to it. Dull it down. And you can just take your brush. I'm gonna tap into my paper towel and get off the excess paint. I kind of make like these trees. So you're just kind of tapping it with the top, tip of my brush. And you get some trees. Or background like mountain land. Just like this. tree up in here. See? It's like the background. If you want to use a smaller brush that helps you, do that. Like I'm going to take my number four at this point and I can make real trees. I can do put the little trunk in here and just tap the shadow of the little tree branches and whatnot. And then for the front part here, get this deeper green. You can just do some swipes of grass. Now this is still damp, so it's gonna bleed a little bit. I might have to wait until it dries. I'm adding in a deeper green here and here. So this one kind of bled a little bit. So you might wanna make it more substantial by adding in, trying to get the green color. So what I mean by that, it's, it's just bleeding. It's kind of like fuzzy. We want it to have it should be like real land. So I'm gonna go back in and add those colors, thicker paint. Okay. You don't want it just to be bleeding. You see what I mean? I want the land to be substantial. And there. Can add a little bit deeper green. Coming in here, a little bit brown. Dark shadow. So right now, I'm just gonna leave it for a few seconds, and let it dry. I'm gonna put a little bit more green here. I have the island come down a little bit more got to let this stuff dry otherwise you're just making a bleeding mess but you can take some of this brown we're doing number four water it down add some little green to that this area is kind of still wet up in here but a little dry in the center and we can just do some grasses like that from the islands that are dry this part I liked how it did a little bleed here because we wanted to have grass we can just take the brush and just kind of push it out a little bit Get the grasses, kind of atmospheric looking grasses, you know, and then you can add some deeper tone grasses at the front. This part's kind of dry, so we can go down here, get some really dark grasses. I'm just taking the brush and moving it this way and that way. And you can add some brown. Don't go too crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. Add a little more deep tone out here. Take that same purple 
kind of put the little shadows over here of trees. It's like the background, way, way in the background from the sunset. Just going ahead and some more purple trees. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit because it's too wet over here to add the super details. I mean, if you go in here and you can add some darker green, that's concentrated. Look a little bit around, see if it, see if it bleeds. Eh, no staying, which is good. All right, so it's actually kind of drying. So I'm going in and adding just on the bottom edges of these things, these little mounds of the marsh. So I'm just going to do a color like that. So it's just really concentrated, minimal water with the green and the browns. And then we're going to do some grasses. So like up in here, and then we can put a few inside the water coming out like down here. Up in here. Don't go too crazy, but just put a few coming up from the water. Up in here. Get some brown, a little black too. Wipe. And just putting some grasses in. See that? Maybe do a little few over here. And then we got a few up in here. But this is just a simple, you know, sunset on the marsh. And then I would do the front. If you want, if you, let me see if it's still wet. It's still damp. You could take a, a, a credit card or something that's sharp and scrape up some grass too. You know, it's always fun to play around with that technique. See what you got but don't go too crazy i wouldn't overdo it with the grasses you know some brown and some dark greens and then you can go back over this if you want to add some flowers add some flowers but really it's a marsh so i think it's just fine the way it is i'm adding in some darker color grasses i'm going back over here it kind of faded here so i'm going to back over here and add the dark, darker tones just like that. I want to keep it super simple. I don't want you guys going nuts. Now see here, kind of faded the little um, reflection, faded a little bit. If you want to go back in, like if I, sh I should have done a little bit darker orange in some areas, you could kind of go in and add a little orange. Don't fuss too much. I would use a small brush to do this. So you get that orange back in there. See, now you can see the reflection better. Don't play around too much though. <laughs> you get your reflection. Again, you can add a little more orange. But you'll see it. So that's my simple little sunset. And if you want to wash in a little more orange up in here, just be careful not to overdo it. Because it can easily happen. Right? To the best of us. Sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, what did I do that for? But we learn that way. Again, a little bit more, just in here a little bit. Get that reflection better. And there you go. So I will remove my tape. Like I said, simple. I don't want to fuss with it too much. 
This is just a quick little sunset for a Wednesday. And like I said, you can take your little number four brush and go back in and play around with adding like the grasses. So you want to add a few more grasses up in here. Don't be afraid to play with this. The whole point is just to enjoy your time painting. You know, don't stress. We just pushed the collar around and then we just took our brush and we added some grass. That's all we did, really. Don't get frustrated, guys. Just enjoy. So there we go. My sun's out on the marsh. Um, if you have any questions, please in the comment section. I want you guys to have fun. I had fun. <laughs> you know, it's gonna take time. If you haven't, if you feel frustrated, listen. I get frustrated also, so don't be, don't be afraid. So um, yeah, take care, guys, and thanks for stopping by. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll speak to you soon.